All right, today we're in Proverbs chapter 21, 21, and it says, whoever pursues righteousness and kindness will find life, righteousness, and honor. So we're gonna look at the widow of Zarephath and Elijah. So God tells Elijah to go to her and that she's gonna feed him, she's gonna provide food. And the problem with that is she was already a widow, she already didn't have food. She is down to her last little bit of food. She was gonna feed herself and her son, and then they were gonna both die. But Elijah says, okay, first feed me. So you know what? She didn't know him from anybody, but she had a kind heart. She trusted God, she honored this man of God, and she showed kindness to him. She literally put herself to the side and put him in her place, and she fed him, and what he did a miracle, and her food never ran dry. And so we see that her kindness to him positioned her for the miracle she needed. Now why is that? We see that same thing happen with Ruth being kind to Naomi and it positioned her to receive kindness from Boaz. Because you know what? We can never, never outgive God. And when we're kind to someone, especially someone who can never repay us, God takes that personally. And he looks for ways to be kind back to us. One really great example of lavish kindness we see with King David, and he was so kind to Mephibosheth. Now we know that that was Jonathan's son, and we know David and Jonathan loved each other, and they were, they were covenant friends, you know? We know that, and David had promised that he would always show kindness to his children, his children's children. But you know what, Mephibosheth was crippled, and he could have seen that as a humiliation, and he could have just said, well, you know, I'll be kind, uh, but sit at the end of the table. But he didn't. He showed him such undeserved honor. Come sit here at the head of the table by me. This will always be your place. And I give you land and other people to work it. And you know what? We see in that picture Jesus and how he showed such undeserving, lavish kindness on us. So going the second mile. Kindness is being the kind of person that makes somebody else feel important. Not just the people who deserve to feel important, but anybody, be that kind of person. So look for people that you can show lavish kindness to because you know what? God is watching. You can never outgive him.